Hi, now we are going to see in, in a problem uh, antenna and wave propagation. The problem given to us is the radiation pattern of an antenna in spherical coordinates is given by f of theta cos power 4 theta. The theta is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to pi by 2. The directivity of antenna is the question is to ask to us is we have to find the directivity of the antenna from the given term f of t cos four cos power four t. How we have to know how how we have to find the directivity of antenna by given data. First of all we have to know that what is what are the equation we have to find the directivity of an antenna directivity of an antenna given the equation given to us we already know that equals for directivity d equals 4 pi u max that is u max is nothing but maximum radiation intensity and divided by p red r a d that is radiated that is radiated power we talking about in here p radiated which is p r a d which is denoted as p r a d which is equal to double integral the phi for phi the integral limit is 0 to 2 pi the integral limit is 0 to 2 pi and for theta it's going to 0 to pi by 2 that is p radian is equal to f of theta sin theta d theta that is integration of these function is will give us the p radian that is radiated power how we will have we will find the p radian we have, we know that f of t equal to cos power 40 we are substituting cos power 40 here before that this pi radiate pi value does not having any values inside this function so it will have the fun same amount of value in the every time that is every function first of all this d phi will be eliminated or find the value at the end of that because it's having the outermost uh, integral that is outer integral in first of all we have to find the inner integral if they have impact in the inner outer in integral values having impact in the inner integral here there is no d phi in this function that is phi function here so we can easily eliminate first of first itself so it will reduce the amount of work we have we done we have to do so we have d phi here so it will be getting phi after integrated and the upper limit is 2 pi and lower limit is 0 so we will get 2 pi 2 pi integral of 0 to pi by 2 cos 4 theta sin theta d theta here we have to use the substitution method to eliminate the max more complexity because it's having the uh, technometry function it also having the power of 4 which gives us more value to substitute because we have we don't have integral value for cos square itself because we have to put the cos square cos square theta equal to 1 minus 2 sin theta divided by sin theta it's, it, it's also complicable when it's come to power of 2 here we have power of 4 we have so we have to choose some other method to find easy way to get a result so here cos 4 theta can be written uh, we are assuming that cos 4 theta equal cos theta equal to t so here we are substituting cos theta equal to t that means we are getting t power 4 here uh, removing this car cos power 4 theta to the t power 4 so we will get here so after getting this value we, we have to find the d, d, dt that is the integral function so we have we have to integral this sorry differentiate this function that is cos theta equal to d 
value so we will we'll get sin theta d theta because it's a function d theta equal to dt so we have sin theta d theta and cos theta here equivalent value of that we assumed that because of we assume the value so we will get the reduced value so substituting this cos theta equal to t here we will get t power 4 and sin theta d theta for dt we will get d power 4 dt so we will get the value of d power 4 can be integrated the value should be t power 5 divided by 5 the upper limit is pi by 2 and lower limit is 0 we will get value of value of t power 5 and we will get the again we again here i forgot to put the values of the limits i i forgot to change the value of the limits because here the pi by 2 and uh, 0 have values of the sin theta sorry cos theta and sin theta but we assumed that we are calculating every value here in t so we have to change that for cos theta we are substituting cos pi by 2 equal to t that is upper limit t equal to cos pi by 2 which is equal to 0 so we are substituting 0 and cos 0 value that is lower limit getting the value of 1 so we will substitute 1 as uh, lower limit 0 as the upper limit so we will get 1 2 pi pi divided by 5 so we will get the value of p radiant as the 2 pi by 5 the but the equation is we found only the this value we have to find the u match and substituting that value in this equation we will get the directivity antenna so d value is here before that u match that is rate maximum radiation intensity is maximum value of which is the function this va this function getting some maximum value right that value should be what is the value we have to find the va value of that the value should be what because we are using the term as cos theta cos theta never can be exceeded the value of one it always lies in the interval of that is value of zero to one only so we will get cos theta maximum value of 1 whatever the order it would be it will we will get 1 itself it's a maximum value is 1 so substituting the maximum value u max and we found u max and cos oh sorry p radiant this value we should substitute on the d that is directivity of antenna so we will get 4 pi into u max divided by p radiant that is the equation we have to we have while we are finding the directivity of antenna that value gives us 4 pi into 1 because u max size is 1 and p radian value we found in the earlier steps that is 2 pi divided by 5 so we will get 4 pi into 5 divided by 2 pi by dividing this 2 pi into this 4 pi we will get pi sorry 2 a multiple of 5 which we will get 10 in this values in not in it's in the not in the radiant so now in it's directly in the radiant we have to put in the decimal value so we will multiplying 10 log 10 into a directivity value which give us the decibel that is directivity in the decibel value which is also 10 decibels thank you your comments are welcome